What are these COEs, these global uh, centers of excellence across the MC? Yeah, great question. And I think, you know, um, the way I would define the COEs right now is we have an incredible talent pool of global brains that exists across the globe for EMC to leverage, right? We have COEs, we have three COEs that exist in China, in Beijing, in Shanghai, in Chengdu. We have one in Bangalore, India. We have one in Ireland, Cork. We have two in Russia, one in St. Petersburg, one in Moscow. We have an incredible COE that is set up in Israel. We have uh, Herzliya, we have Beersheba, and we have two COEs, which people actually don't even know that actually exist in the US. That's right. One in Durham, and the newly added Utah COE. So overall, an incredible fabric of global brains that's available. This is what the COEs are made of. Absolutely, and we can't, we'd be remiss to forget Cairo too. And of course, yeah, of course, of course. The problem and, is they're you know, continually expanding. They are, <laughs> you know, and trying to keep track of all of them, you know, it should be my job, but oh, thank no, you for, please. thank you for letting I, me know I know you've that, got a couple other things it, yeah. uh, going on as well. <laughs> John, I want to spiral over to you. In, in my experience, I mean, I've had the, the privilege of working in, let's call it global international companies, <laughs> as has Vic, and yeah. what, what I think uh, both GE and the companies I've worked at have seen is the, the way people think about innovation is different depending on where you originate. And one of the most interesting things that's happening today in the industry is this concept of reverse innovation or inverse innovation or Jugat innovation. Jugat. And all of these, yeah, Jugat, it's actually a, a, the innovation coming out of the developing markets. Ah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's actually a, good books on the topic. Yeah. But the, the bottom line is when you think about solving a problem, when you're constrained by different dimensions, for instance, you're trying to solve a communication problem in a market that doesn't have robust telecommunication infrastructure, mm -hmm you think differently about the problem. The result of that is that you might come up with a more cost effective, a much more innovative, a much more efficient way to actually deliver that technology. What happens though is that in almost all cases when you come up with this new way of thinking about solving a problem, mm -hmm. is it probably will translate into a new way of solving the problem in developed markets. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing more and more of this kind of flow of innovative ideas come not just from the developed markets mm -hmm. to the developing markets, mm -hmm. but actually coming out of the developing world mm -hmm. and actually solving existing problems in new ways at different economics, a different scale, a different simplicity than we ever would have solved if we only thought about it from that one perspective.